what kind of stuff are you currently working on? Like what's, what's some of the things that you're in the process of doing artistically these days? Yeah. I mean, I always have like a huge backlog of project ideas. Uh Um, So just coming out of a project management mindset, I use a Meister task, which is a Kanban board setup. So that's where you have your backlog and then you have currently working on and then complete. So you take the task and kind of move it across those different columns and it's a way to stay focused. So like anytime I have like a random idea for a project, I'll throw it in the backlog. And, uh, you know, after each project, I kind of reassess my what my priorities are going to be so like i'm going to work on this for this reason and that should come up next or something um so you know you're constantly reprioritizing that stack just based on what the current needs are like if it's a client commission the deadline's coming up or you know like i really want to have this ready for a convention or this piece needs to go into the queue so i can work on it for a twitch stream Mm -hmm. um yeah it's kind of blending my digital marketing worlds with my uh <laughs> illustration right. worlds uh you know I, I love picking the best of both things you know is it difficult to give priority to personal projects when you do have actual work projects that you have to do like how do you how do you actually adjust the weight for that uh you know it, it's different in every single case like the best way to handle it is like i said after every project or maybe once a week look at that stack and make sure you're on track So, uh, you know, if you know that you're going to get a piece done in a week and there's going to be some extra time, then you can slot in like a personal project before your next major thing. Okay. And do you actually do them as project based or do you do them in the sense where you pare it down into actual tasks inside of the project? Like, do you go, I'm going to draw the thumbnail sketch for this drawing instead Mm -hmm. of like the drawing itself? Like how, 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 uh, much do you break down? Cause coming up with time is one of the things that many of the people that I've talked to has said Mm -hmm. is their biggest problem. And Kanban is one way I do Pomodoro method. Okay. Um, You know, it's, it's, so I'm, I'm interested to see like how you do actually slot in that time, especially since you're doing uh, work for a job. Yeah. So uh, it's, I I do break it down a little bit uh, and there are certain steps that group well together. So doing your ideation and thumbnails and like rough compositions can be one phase and then working into your color comps, then uh, color roughs, and then, you know, settling on the final composition is, can be another phase. And then um, in digital, you'll do a lot of base layer painting, like always try to work back to front. So paint Mm -hmm. the background, paint the, objects in it, paint the figures, paint the clothes, and then digital effects would be last, like, you know, a beam of light or a certain glow or something. And then, um, you know, uh, and, and then I'll do kind of final color tweaks in Photoshop. So, you know, certain thing, if it's going to print and I'll do a CMYK preview of it and it'll show me like what colors are out of gamut. So I need to adjust for those. Yeah. So that's like the final stage. And then I have the final file composition that's ready to hand off to a client or post on my site. 